Good morning, kids! Welcome to our class. It is another day of fun and learning. It's me, Teacher Frel, your teacher in Math 2, Quarter 3, Week 7. Our lesson for today is about Comparing Similar and Dissimilar Fractions. Kids, are you ready to listen? Let's get started! At the end of this lesson, you will be able to compare similar and dissimilar fractions using relation symbols. Arrange similar fractions in increasing and decreasing orders. Let's read the problem solving below. Connie, Mel, and Sue took the practical test in PE. Out of 20 points, Connie got 19, Mel got 16, and Sue got 18. How do we write 19 out of 20 in fraction? 18 out of 20 and 16 out of 20. We write 19 out of 20 like this. 19 over 20. This is Connie's score. We write 18 out of 20 like this. 18 over 20. This is Sue's score. And we write 16 out of 20 like this. 16 over 20. This is Mel's score. What do these fractions have in common? Let's see. These fractions have in common denominators. They have the same denominators. How do we call fractions having the same denominators? We call them similar fractions. What are similar fractions? Similar fractions are fractions having the same denominators. We also call them like fractions. For examples, similar fractions. 2 fifth, 3 fifth, 4 fifth, 3 eight, 5 eight, 7 eight, 4 tenth, 6 tenth, 9 tenth. These sets of fractions have the same denominators. These are similar fractions. How to compare similar fractions? If the denominators are the same, then the fraction with the greater numerator is the greater fraction. The fraction with the lesser numerator is the lesser fraction. We use less than or greater than to compare the two fractions. Let's compare Connie's score to Sue's score. Connie's score is 19 over 20. And Sue's score is 18 over 20. Connie's score is greater than Sue's score. So we use symbol greater than. 19 over 20 is greater than 18 over 20. Let's compare Mel's score to Sue's score. Mel's score is 16 over 20. And Sue's score is 18 over 20. Mel's score is less than Sue's score. So we use symbol less than. 16 over 20 is less than 18 over 20. How to arrange similar fractions in increasing order? To order the fractions, we consider their numerators and order them, either from least to greatest or from the greatest to the least. For examples, arrange the fractions from least to greatest. 8 tenth, 2 tenth, 6 tenth, 4 tenth, and 9 tenth. These fractions are similar fractions because they have the same denominators. To arrange this fraction, let us look at their numerators. So their numerators are 8, 2, 6, 4, 9. Which fraction has smallest numerator? Correct, 2. Next to 2 tenths is 
four tenth. Next to four tenth is six tenth. Next to six tenth is eight tenth. And the greatest fraction is nine tenth. So these fractions are arranged from least to greatest or from smallest to biggest. Another example. Arrange the fractions from greatest to least. The fractions are 920, 1120, 1720, 1320, and 1520. As you can see, this fraction have similar fraction because they have the same denominator. So we must look at their numerators. The numerators are 9, 11, 17, 13, and 15. To arrange these fractions from greatest to least, let's look at the biggest number. So the biggest number is 17. Next to 17 is 15. Next to 15 is 13. Next to 13 is 11. And next to 11 is 9. So this fraction are arranged from greatest to least or from biggest to smallest. Let's read another problem solving below. Three papers of the same sizes were given to Lisa by her math teacher. She was told to fold the papers in three different ways and to shade one of each folded part. Can you name the fractions of each folded part? Let's name each part of the folded paper. Paper A is 1 half. Paper B is 1 fourth. And paper C is 1 eighth. What do you notice with the denominators? They have different denominators. 2, 4, 8. How do we call fractions with different denominators? We call them dissimilar fractions. What are dissimilar fractions? Dissimilar fractions are fractions having different denominators. We also call them unlike fractions. For examples, dissimilar fractions 2 8, 2 3rd, 2 9th, 5 9th. 1 7 3 8 5 7 2 9 3 6 As you can see, these sets of fraction have different denominators. Let's do the following activities. And circle the other three similar fractions. Number 1 2 5 Choose from the following fractions. So what are the similar fractions of 2 fifth? Correct! The similar fractions of 2 fifth are 1 fifth, 3 fifth, and 4 fifth. Number 2. 3 eighth. What are the similar fractions of 3 eighth? Choose from the following fractions. So what are the similar fractions of 3 8? Correct! 1 8, 5 8, and 7 8. Number 3, 5 9. What are the similar fractions of 5 9? Correct! 3 9, 7 9, and 8 9. Number 4, 6 10. What are the similar fractions of 6 tenth? Correct! The similar fractions of 6 tenth are 3 tenth, 4 tenth, and 5 tenth. Number 5. What are the similar fractions of 1 seventh? Correct! The similar fractions of 1 seventh are 4 seventh, 5 seventh, and 6 7th. 
Number 6, 7 15 What are the similar fractions of 7 15 Correct! The similar fractions of 7 15 are 3 15 8 15 and 1 15 Now, it's time for you to answer the following. Write S for similar fractions and D for the similar fractions. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. 3 7, 8 9, and 2 3rd. Number 2. 2 5th, 3 5th, and 4 5th. Number 3. 7 8, 6 13, and 3 10. Number 4. 3 4th, 3 15 and 3 7. Number 5. 4 9th, 3 17 and 1 20. Number 6. 3 8, 5 8 and 1 8. Number 7. 1 3rd, 1 8 and 1 6. Number 8. 3 12, 5 12, and 7 12. Number 9, 8 13, 1 10, and 4 15. And number 10, 5 6, 3 6, and 1 6. Another activity compare. Write greater than or less than in the box. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1 Number 2 Number 3 Number 4 Number 5 Number 6 Number 7 Number 8 Number 9 Number 10, number 11, and number 12. Kids, did you enjoy solving math today? Very good! So again, what was our topic today? Correct! It's about comparing similar and dissimilar fractions. Kids, I hope you learn a lot from our lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids!